Yo, call me a G the way I get zero bitches. Hey, everybody, what's up? Welcome back to the Games Kids. Today, and only today, we are here, that's right, to talk about Shadow the Hedgehog, a.k.a. the GOAT, a.k.a. a bunch of new information has spawned today and over the last week about Shadow, Shadow Generations, the movie, and all that stuff. So let's get right into it, man. All right, so I woke up today, and they just apparently dropped Kingdom Valley Act 1 on uh, Spotify and Apple Music. I don't know if this was intentional or not intentional, but it's out here, so uh, let's just fucking listen to the track first and foremost okay so we got that we got that nice you know that kingdom valley sound locking in which i really like it also if we look at the artwork um some people are pointing out that this takes place during the mock speed section so already very happy about this and oh okay yeah 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 Ooh, dude kingdom valley music just goes so fucking hard man this song is so good this remix incredible but people are pointing out that this takes place in a mock speed section i don't know who the artist of this piece is and i'm gonna say something that's gonna disturb you by the way oh my god this song it's hold on hold on it's it's, it's elevating me oh my god okay hold on oh this is just act one da -da 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 Oh, yo, okay. That's awesome. That's fantastic. Whatever they're cooking with this song, keep cooking with it. But the one disturbing thing about this art piece is Shadow's shoes here. Where's the rocket? Where's like the, the V little rocket here? I don't like that it just looks like a shoe, but oh, hold on, wait, never mind. I'm suddenly distracted again. Okay. Oh, oh, yeah. I love the um, chanting in the background. Really elevates a lot of the track. Always has, but it just sounds so fucking good. Oh my god, dude. Oh, why did they just ra Why did they just randomly drop this, bro? Hey. Then, 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 then. Oh. We're getting to a grand ending of the track. Oh. That's fire. Whatever they're cooking. Fucking awesome shit with this man. Da -dun, da -dun, da -dun, da -dun, da -dun, da wow. <laughs> Love that remix. That was fucking awesome. Now, another piece of information that came out today was that they have updated the official key art of the game. As you can see, this was the old one where, you know, it was a little less crowded, less stuff going on. Uh, but this one, full crowd. You know what I mean? We got everything going on. We've got extra platforms. We've got Chaos Spears pulling up in the background. I guess they didn't want to spoil that that was a uh, thing before. Now they have the Chaos Spears. The Chows are different, much more expressive over here. As you can tell over here, you know, there was like one of these Chows. I do prefer having multiple chow types like i did like in the other work that there was the dark chow and the angel chow but you know the three og chows are working and i think it's just because they want that bottom half to be you know the cutesy sonic generation side where everything's like happy but i love this sort of crazy distorted area uh in shadow generations even like like this doesn't even sell it like look how just red this kind of looks and everything's in the background where it's here everything's like boom like in your face emphasize so really love the updated key art so we also had an interesting thing there's this uh website uh sega jp they put a blog post saying and obviously this is translate so it might not work well but yeah title is said that includes side generations which add new elements and allows you to speed run through various stages with both classic and modern sonic and the completely new shadow generations which in the dark hero shadow runs freely in all directions now i wonder um when they're saying which adds new elements and allows you to speed run through various Various, uh, stage of both classes modern is this gonna be an official speedrun mode because there were like time trial type levels via the missions but i don't remember there being like an official time attack i could i could be wrong about that but yeah they might be adding you know time attack mode where you can get like a gold medal silver medal bronze medal maybe you know add some leaderboards i know there was an online ranking mode so they might be bringing that back but yeah th them calling this a new a lot new elements that allows you to speedrun through various stages makes me think 
Maybe they're adding a speedrun run. I don't know. We still don't even know really what the new content of base Sonic Gents is besides the drop dash and the Chow missions, which again, we still don't fully know what the Chow missions do. Are you getting different Chow that follow you around? Like, how does it fully work? But I do know from my time playing that you were collecting Chow in the level, and I guess it's going to allow you to unlock a different Chow to follow you, sort of how one was following you in Sonic Rumble. But let's talk about some new screenshots. That's right. It is our first in-game look at the silly Sonic Adventure skin and it is literally perfect this is there's nothing else they could have done to make this more perfect i love it it has the no map it has the weird clothes the low poly it looks fucking awesome i legitimately cannot wait to use this skin i feel like this is just gonna be how i play uh sonic generations from now on with this skin because it just the way they translated it looks so awesome i i love the look of it and everything i just i'm so happy with what they did even like the old school shoes that they got here the little yellow in the back are like they cooked with this guy i cannot wait to run this and I, I really do hope that they add a sonic adventure to sonic in there because come on like you have shadow in here and we've got sonic movie 2 coming out like i feel like maybe down the line maybe near holiday season they add like sonic adventure 2 shadow and sonic that would be super perfect Literally seconds before I was about to upload my YouTube video, uh, like this video, uh, the Sonic account posted this. Uh, the good old days are back. Received the Nostalgic Sonic Adventure Legacy Pack when you pre order this standard or digital deluxe edition. Let's see our boy. Oh, this is gonna be his his little dance he does. Oh, it's so cool seeing him like that. Look at him! Like at the boy. Oh, he's perfect. He's right. Everything about him is perfect. And this is what I would call our most notable screenshot. That's right. This section in um, Kingdom Valley. First of all, the Hawk. Love that the hawk is back chilling here. But yeah, we have this sick, like, sort of wall run you can do over here. But I love, like, this wooden pad that just carves into the building over here. So you're going to be able to do a wall run over here into, you know, what is a platforming challenge all the way down there, which is really cool. So you can see, like, you're going all the way up here. Maybe you could all the maybe you could probably just jump boost to this pad instead of going to this bottom path. Or, like, there's just alternate paths because it looks like it looks like this even is an alternate path because it looks like there's a spot you could have come from from down here to up here so obviously you know even from my playtime at summer games us, i knew there were alternate paths so it's cool to see that maybe we're gonna see more of that throughout this level but just love how this looks there's another look at our our beautiful you know eagle our majestic american eagle over here carrying our boy shadow not too much going on this level again another sort of extra platforming challenge you can see that there's a top path you can take over here or a bottom path. i wonder how you get up here is my question because it doesn't look like there's like a bounce pad or anything to get over here and that's what here here's my thing right and we're gonna talk about this this is where i think sometimes these doom powers might come into play i might be overthinking i might be overanalyzing but there's something i wanted to talk about because there was a, a stream in japan where they played the game today right and this is the same build i played there was nothing really new about this it was just you know a chinese stream where they were playing through it. but i'm trying to find this for y'all right this moment i still don't think anyone has shown me how you get to that top platform like i have not seen footage of anyone getting to this top platform without something it's not by bouncing on this guy because i've tried obviously this guy gets hit but you don't get enough speed so i feel like you definitely need a doom power to get up here i legitimately don't know other uh, any other way you can get up here and i'm thinking there's just gonna be a doom power that allows you to boost upwards maybe for some areas like i just don't see any other way really also make sure you subscribe and let me know so far what has been your favorite thing shown about the game also while i was gone this trailer job um comparing the old game footage to the new one and oh my god bro isn't this such a nice perspective on how crazy what one video games have changed and how sonic has changed i love this i love the editing on this i love how they've shown how different the levels are y'all i'll back up a bit here but oh my god just so cool so cool i love even like how they kind of captured the dynamic camera angles really well i find like they just handled it in a really really cool way and even just shadows idol animation being recreated over here look at him look at this man holding himself over here but we also get one of the coolest raw shots over here with the real canyon uh transition look how beautiful this is into the modern love that love that bro everything about this i cannot wait to play rail candy with shadow and also we did have someone on uh sonic team confirm no there aren't only three stages right so far we've only seen real canyon uh the arc and kingdom valley and they did confirm like no guys these are not the only three stages they got to save some surprises i'm guessing what realistically 
three uh, three more maybe i think we're gonna have like about five six levels plus the open zone and stuff it's gonna make it a pretty worthy uh fun thing to play i just i have such a good feeling about shadow gens man from my time with it from what they're showing from what they're doing it i really do think shadow generations might end up being some of people's favorite sonic thing i'm not saying the best thing ever but i do think it's gonna be a lot of people's top sonic thing to uh play and consume because it's just god bro this this shit just looks phenomenal man I'm, I'm so excited again love the comparisons love the remixes the music everything now i know the next big question is fidel it is san diego comic-con it's the end of july where's our shadow size sonic movie 3 news and to that i say i don't know bro i think at this point they are fully leaning into following the sonic movie 2 marketing which was that you know we got the trailer four months before launch we got the trailer in december movie came out in april so i'm guessing at this point we're gonna get a trailer in august and then the movie is going to you know obviously drop in december but yeah i think it's gonna be like that and i think a big reason why this has ended up being just such a long thing is one the cinema con stuff right in fact tyson has addressed it right there was this this website i think it's the sonic forums or something um someone was just saying like i don't understand why people are whining about the chill not being on nearly half a year before the film is due you'd have long forgotten of it by the time the film's out i wasn't expecting anything until september october now that's a bit extreme you don't need to have it with your first chiller for a movie in october two months before launch um but this is actually tyson hess's alt account oh not alt account but web account on the website and he said it's because people think there's some great trailer already shown to a bunch of people when there really wasn't it was a handful of shots shown to theater owners and licensing partners it was never meant to be seen widely because it's not a real trailer and also right, right now at san diego comic-con they're heavily trying to promote transformers one they're just promoting the tmnt show that's launching in two weeks i feel like they're just trying to focus on the things that are really really close because they know that sonic movie 3 is gonna take over everything right in terms of the paramount lineup for the year they know that is their movie of this year that's gonna be their big money maker and so i feel like they want to just get you know the marketing done for their other things before they start going crazy on sonic movie 3. and also like they got to finish up the visual effects and everything remember the movie wrapped up production or, or like you know filming in may and again, this movie is all CG. You know, I mean, I shit ton of CG. The character CG, movement CG, the enemies, all this stuff. You know that, right? So I think we underestimate, uh, not, well, not all of us, but like, you know, a lot of people underestimate how long that's going to take. And so I think they just want to have it perfect, nailed, done super well. And we're going to get that trailer most likely at this point in August. I did see that uh, Sega is attending Gamescom and I was saying to stay tuned for Gamescom, which I assume that's when we're going to get an updated build. Um, of shadow generations because even shadow generations like we still don't know right what a doom power does we still don't know what the multiple doom powers are because they are 100 percent going to reveal that right we still have more stages to see right so there's still a lot more content for shadow generations to be shown we still got to see our movie three hype but that's going to be it for today guys thank you all for watching let me know what is the most exciting thing you see today what are you most hyped for about shadow generations and of course i love you and i'll see you all next time peace out